The McKenzie Tugboat Service has been operating in the Port of Esperance for 50 years. Brooke McKenzie is the latest family member to join the business. At 27, she's one of the youngest tugmasters in Australia. There's very few female tugmasters. Even the, the marine industry, especially the um, tug industry, there's very few women in it. Um, I think I'm probably one of, there'd be less than 10 in WA, I would say. The fourth generation Tugmaster says the business is struggling to compete against industry giants. We're so small and isolated in WA there, and there is a lot of competition and multinational companies coming into Australia and WA. Mackenzie's recently lost the contract for the port of Bunbury to multinational company Spitzer. And a lot of these larger companies like to claim that because they operate across multiple ports in multiple countries that it makes them stronger. Personally, I don't think that's, that's the ideal solution. With the contract for Esperance up for tender next year, another loss could spell the end for the family business. The Maritime Union of Australia says regional tugboat contracts like this one in Esperance will increase in demand as the resource sector continues to grow. But to meet that rising demand, operators like Mackenzie's will need a strong financial backing if they're to increase their operations and survive. The Mackenzie's hope adding a new boat to their fleet will help them to compete. It'll grow from three to four, yep. We, we need three operational tugs for the larger Cape ships. An investment in keeping a regional business afloat. Andrew Chounding, ABC News, Esperance.